we all know, homophobes in Brooklyn, they are direct as fuck, okay? <laughs> they don't mince words, bitch. So I was like, I was growing up, I was like, shit, they can smell my faggotry from a block away. <laughs> so I had to figure some shit out, so I got into drag. <laughs> Straight drag. Ooh. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Instead of wigs, I got me a do-rag. Instead of a leotard and a cat suit, I went to the Jimmy Jazz Atelier. <laughs> and got me the finest rock wear and baggy white tee I could find. <laughs> I traded my pumps for some Timberlands. <laughs> Bitch, it was giving very gay Z, okay, girl? <laughs> so I walk out the house, and I would get my walk. And then some fine-ass brother would come. He would, he would come down the block. I'm like, okay, there he is, there he is. I feel good, shoulders back. Here we go, here we go. And I would walk, do the walk. And I'd be like, hey man, what up? <laughs> the chin is very important. You gotta do the chin. I say, no, yeah, what up, what up, what up? Yeah. So what up, what up? And then, you know, he, he'll be a little confused, but he'll stop. He looked at me, dead in my eyes, and he just goes, nigga, you gay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Did you just call me the N-word? <laughs> oh my God. If you're in Brooklyn, we've all experienced it once in our life, girl. But here's the thing, in Brooklyn, I mean, I grew up in Brooklyn, I, I am 32 years old. I'm 32 years old, and when I was growing up in Brooklyn, Brooklyn was a dangerous ass fucking place. Brooklyn was not, I was walking around this neighborhood today, I saw like three gay dads pushing their kids in strollers. I said, what in the gay hell is going on here, girl? Jesus, send the rapture now, okay, Lord? 